What up folks, it's Alex here. Welcome to 5 Minute Friday. And in this video, we're gonna have a look at the inbuilt audio library within DaVinci Resolve. Now, a quick one, in this video, I actually mentioned that I'm using Epidemic Sounds for my music. That's actually now changed because I've dropped my Epidemic Sounds account and I'm gonna be using free music and free sound effects from here on in. So check in the description below or stick around to the end where I actually mention the websites that I'll be using to get my free audio. Anyway, enough of that, let's open DaVinci Resolve and we'll take a look. So here we are folks, we're in DaVinci Resolve and we're on the edit tab as always. But for once, this is actually not where we need to begin. What you need to do is open up My PC or File Explorer and you need to find a fixed location that where you're going to store all of your audio. So in my case, I'm on the D drive, I've got a folder called DaVinci, I've got resources, and I've got a folder called sound effects and music. Now I've got folders set up in here, but you don't need those. You can just dump them all in whichever you suit. I like the folders because you keep it a bit structured, but it's entirely up to you. Now this needs to be a fixed location. You see how I've got them on the D drive. You don't really want this on an external drive that you're always plugging and unplugging because it may then get lost. It needs to be a fixed location. So Resolve always knows where to find it. Now, once you've got that location, you can drop all your music and sound effects into those folders or into that the root of that folder, MP3s, WAV files, whatever you need. Just put them in that location. Once you've done that, head to DaVinci Resolve and then on the Edit tab, you'll notice up here, you've got Sound Library. So we're gonna give that a click and you'll see this screen. No library is currently connected, so we need to add a library. So I'm gonna click on Add Library now I need to browse to that location. So I'm going to go to D, DaVinci, Resources, Sound Effects and Music. Now I don't need to click any of these folders because I need this, the root of this folder. So I'm just going to hit Select. And it's going to scan everything in that folder and it's telling me there's 167 clips have been added to my sound library. So I'm going to click on OK. And now we get this screen appear. Now at the top, there's a small search box. So we can start searching for things. So I know I've got a bunch of sound effects that start with glitch. So I can type in glitch and it'll find all of those glitch sound effects, which I have in my sound library. And now I can just click on one of them. I can hit play to listen to it. I can use the I and the O keys to pick a certain section. And then I can click, hold, drag my mouse and dump it straight onto my timeline. And there we go. We've added that sound effect to my timeline. Now a quick tip, what's really handy is to name all of your music, for example, in a particular format. So I download a lot of my music from Epidemic Sounds. So all of my music actually starts with ES and then an underscore. So I can type that in and then I have a list of all my music here ready to go. And then again, I can double click to have a listen If I'm happy with it, drag it on, release, and there it is, it's on my timeline. Also worth noting, you have got a rating system here, so you can give them one to five stars, just so it's a little bit easier to find the track that you want. And that's it. It's as easy as that to use the sound library. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Pop a comment below if you've got any feedback and don't forget to subscribe. Now at the start of the video, I mentioned that I'm only gonna be using free audio and music from now on. The first one is the YouTube audio library. It's available for anyone that signed up to YouTube. You can download music and sound effects directly from the YouTube site. Link is in the description. Now, the other one is a website called Thematic. Well, it's actually Hello Thematic. Again, link down below. As a whole selection of really good music, you download it for free. You just have to make sure that you credit the artist, but they provide you with a link, which you just need to drop in your description. Now, the reason it seems good is a whole different load of genres, different selection of music, which seems really cool. When you sign in, it does connect to your YouTube account, and that account is the only place where you can use the music, which again is perfectly fine with me. So I'm gonna trial that for a while and see how I get on. There's also a bunch of really interesting sound effects now available via the BBC. Again, there's a link down below, so have a look at them. If you know of any other places to get free sound effects or music, Make sure to comment below and let everyone else know. Cool. I hope that was useful anyway. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.